Welcome back, my lovelies, to the messages of the week. I have decided to do something a little bit different. Um, so I pulled a tarot and an oracle uh, as a confirmation of what's going to happen. Um, also, um, just letting you guys know that I am doing something a little bit different with um, what's to come. I will talk about that a little bit afterwards, but down below I've picked out five messages. There's no six month message. Uh, Spirit decided n not it. I even checked with my pendulum on it and they're like mm, no. But five messages are pretty good, no? So you guys can pick your pile. Okay, I'm going to start with pile one. This is pile two, three, four, and five. So if you need more time to figure out which one is for you, this is the time where you can pause. All right, okay. So we're gonna start off with this one, number one. Okay, ooh yeah, I like that. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Go get it, go get it, go get it. All right, so you might be um, mastering a new skill set or you are going to be mastering a new skill set um, when it comes to um, your career or your business as well okay so this could be taken in, in two ways of career and business but this skill set I also get the feeling that if you are doing any kind of spiritual workings all right they're adding some more tools into your tool belt so for instance they might be kind of outlining certain books or certain areas for you to look into. Um, so like say if you were to go to a bookstore and this book really stands out, that could be your sign that that book is something that you need to be reading up on, okay? If you're feeling a certain pull towards learning a, an ability or doing something with your practice, then look into it, okay? Just make sure that you use your discernment, uh, use your intuition, make sure that, you know, the information that you're gathering is something that is going to be useful for you, okay? And that's even, that's even true uh, saying for like business-wise as well or career-wise. There might be certain things that you learn, right, that you can utilize in the workforce but you might have to tweak them a bit, you know what I mean? So that way they can flow with you, all right? And as your um, confirmation, we're talking about flexibility too, okay? So making sure that you're, you're not being stubborn when it comes to learning these new skill sets, okay? Um, make sure that you're being flexible when it comes to learning something new or taking on something new, okay? Very important. Um, to be flexible while you are doing this, okay? All right, we have the Five of Pentacles with gratitude. You are not feeling like you are getting the support that you need, okay? You're not getting the support that you need. You're not getting... Um, the finances that you need, okay? You feel kind of like at a loss. Scraping by is the terms that come through, okay? But honestly, when gratitude comes up, okay, even though you might not be grateful right now because of the situation you are in, and you are facing, right? You need to be mindful of the things that you do have, that you do possess, okay? Versus those that are without, okay? And I know that sounds really icky, but we need to be mindful about what we do have and what we can have, all right? I have a feeling that if you were to reach out to people that are supportive of you or even different community organizations, all right? These individuals will help you um, and will help you tide 
over until the next, um, I want to say payment, if that makes sense. I don't know why payment's coming through, but it will tide you over until the next lump sum that you are looking for, okay? Um, and when you do receive that amount, make sure that you budget it very well and whatever you have left over, try to kind of squirrel it away so that way you're not in that position again where you're kind of fearful of what, what's going to happen, okay? But for right now, that gratitude is coming up so that way you realize that you do have certain things that others aren't do not have okay so just being mindful of that your situation will be better it's just so much as you know having to reach out to the supports instead of you know being the martyr and not seeking those supports right um, it's hard to swallow your pride and it's hard to ask for help um, when you need the help trust me I've been in that position many a time it's not comfortable but it's something that if it allows you a little bit more of a breather, then it's better to ask than to go without, all right? And add that overwhelming stress and anxiety, okay? Okay, for card three, we have the two of cups with transmutation. So this this is going to be a new new relationship and I don't feel like it's a re like like a relationship with someone I feel like this is talking about a relationship with yourself okay I don't know but that's what they're telling me it's like a relationship with yourself so like viewing yourself differently Okay, that's what's coming up. It's like you're breaking away from what others have expected from you or are wanting from you or have perceived you as. You're breaking away from that because you're realizing that you are not that at all. Okay, you are transforming yourself from those experiences with people and those attitudes that people have had towards you. You are rebirthing yourself, basically. You're changing yourself. You might even feel like changing your appearance as well while you're at it, dyeing your hair, painting your nails, buying a new uh, clothing attire, okay? That's what's coming up here, and that's beautiful. You're starting a new relationship with yourself. And I want to cry for you, really. <laughs> um, you're starting a new relationship for yourself. And, and that's very important because for a very long time, you guys were like in this little box feeling isolated and, and unsure of your own worth. But you've, you've somehow managed to switch that. And you've come into almost like an awakening of your true self and you've taken that negative those negative aspects and you're letting them go but you're also turning that as like a, as a way to feed the fire to motivate you to change okay and if this hasn't occurred yet it's going to occur really soon. If it's not this week, it's going to be occurring really soon. It's almost like a prepping. Um, but you should be proud of setting this new relationship with yourself and viewing yourself the way that you should view yourself and not let others dictate how you should look at yourself. Okay? That's really powerful. Alright? Pile four. Mm hmm okay so we have the three of pentacles in reverse and we have enlightenment okay there seems to be some kind of communication issues between you and others right now 
um, almost as if you are unwilling to work with them or they're unwilling to work with you or meet some kind of compromise in the middle okay I really don't feel that you're going to be making a compromise with this or this person or this these individuals there's no compromising um, and I think through that compromise is, is where you're going to find that enlightenment right um, I feel that you're going to have to just walk away from this and um, step into your own power okay you're going to do things the way that you want to do them all right and no mind asking this other person what they think um, don't worry about how others will see how you go about doing this project or going forward with the situation that you're in okay as long as you are confident and you use the wisdoms that you have okay you'll be able to have your clarity on what you need to do without having the clouding clouding of other people's judgments in the mix yeah they want you to really trust your intuition, okay? Because um, I feel like it's been like an ongoing issue where you seek this support or you ask for um, like someone's two cents and it's not exactly what you were hoping for. Um, And I just get the sense that you you're on totally different pages right now, and it's not it's not going to get compromised. It's not going to finish. So just um, I would just walk away and do your own thing, to be honest. Okay. Card six or card five? Why did I say six? We don't have six. We have five. <laughs> um. Oh, cool. So we have. Justice, and we have some healing. So you are opening your eyes to the reality around you. Okay, make sure that when you do um, open your eyes to the reality, is that you look at situations and people with unbiased opinions, okay? That's even to go with ourselves as well, right? Um, when we are doing self-discovery work, we're not only doing the positive aspects of self, we are also doing the negative aspects of self because those two are cohesive, they tie together because that's what makes us on a whole, right? A whole being is the negative and positive, okay? It's just so much as balancing those two spectrums. Um, with the healing coming up though, all right, I think there's the healing coming up because of the fact that you're going to have to work with some of those shadow aspects of self and working with the shadow aspects of self isn't the greatest. Um, it can be a little bit turbulent and emotional, um, but realize that the only person that can judge you is you, okay? So if you need to shed something that is negative and is not um, helping you in any way, shape, or form, then yes, by all means, try to release that aspect or change it um, if it's an unhealthy habit change it you know what I mean and do the healing work that is required so you can be in a more positive mindset um, especially when dealing with others too okay
and just be gentle when you do you do go forward with this healing work as well um, and this self discovery um, I feel that there is a lot to unpack that maybe you haven't realized before and it's almost like you've visited it visited this before but it's almost as if you're gonna go back to it again and see something you you didn't see before which might open a can of worms which might ensue this healing bit so just be wary of that just be gentle with yourself be kind with yourself all right when we when you go forward with that okay So with the emotional side of things, you still need to try to be unbiased when it comes to communications and with working with others as well, okay? Um, and you have to be truthful with yourself too when you're doing this work. I mean it, you gotta be truthful with yourself, okay? Play the devil's advocate and look at both sides, okay? So those are the messages. Let me just clear these away, and then we'll take a look at what the energy is bringing for us this week. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I love these cards, I love them. Okay, what's the energy for this week? Please and thank you. What is the energy being brought in for this week? Service says, I feel good when I can help others. So, obviously with that being said, okay, when you go to assist others, okay, it doesn't have to be in material form. It can be as so much as being in a shoulder or an open ear. Okay, those are different forms of services too, okay? Just being there, um, but it's also an exchange, right? If we do it from, from the goodness of our own heart, right, helping others will also make us feel better too. It's that exchange if that makes sense, okay? Just like how a tarot reader exchanges their time and energy in order to read for someone and that person shows their generosity by, say, giving a donation for the reading, right? So that's the same kind of idea, right? It's just that exchange. It's just an exchange of energy, right? We all need to help ourselves, help each other in some way or shape or form when it comes down to it. Even if it's just listening to someone that needs to like get something off their mind or off their chest, okay? But make sure that when you do assist others that you're protected, okay? Especially if they're like, say, a stranger from the streets. Um, make sure that you are in a good space too. Because if you're not in a good space, you're not actually going to help them, right? You're, not, you're just going to get yourself into more of a funky situation and you're not really going to be helpful for that person and you're more at risk of burning yourself out. So just keep that in mind, all right? Um, so what I was going to say is that I am raising funds right now to um, recreate, duplicate um, what I call celestial runes. They are something that I made myself. Um, I am duplicating them right now. So if you 
would like a reading from me, um, I will be putting um, names down on a list um, for the first batch of celestial runes that are completed, and uh, it could be could be lots of fun. I will be selling them once I have a certain amount of stock, and then. Uh, Hopefully you guys can enjoy them and gain some benefit from them as well. So right now, currently I'm sitting at, I think, 100 and something. Uh, my goal is 250 uh, to raise for these. So if you want to book a reading with me, you can go to my website, www.jasminseternalcircle.com or you can message me on Facebook through Jasmine's Eternal Circle. Um, you can also message me on my Twitter at psychic underscore mummy. Um, or you can always send me a message through my email, which is um, Jasmine's Eternal Circle at gmail.com. All right. I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Take care of yourselves and uh, take it easy a little bit.